Okay, the first principle of individual attack is to keep the ball. All right, so we're talking about shielding. A couple things to consider. One is you want to always receive the ball and keep the ball with distance from the defender. So what we'll do is in this playing in a little 10 by 10 yard grid, I'll play a ball in. Attack who has is going to keep the ball from the challenging player. Again, a lot of the moves that we practice in the warm-up and the pre-warm-up, you can see in this little exercise, and they're all ways to keep the ball from the defender. Again, we'll go passive right now. So I'll give the ball to Robbie. We play. You notice keeping the keeping the ball with the controlling with the foot farthest from the defender, using his body, a low center of gravity. Again, the key is to keep distance. And then, again, using sole of the foot, outside, inside of the foot, to quickly change direction. And relax, catch your breath. Again, in a, in a game, Robbie might only have to do this for three or four seconds until a teammate becomes available, he can pass the ball. But oftentimes, particularly if you're an attacking player, when you receive the ball, you are going to be under immediate pressure. So you have to be able to hold the ball for a few seconds until help arrives. Okay, so we'll do it again. I'll give it to Robbie. We'll go 75% now. And again, if you lose the ball, play another ball in. Here we go. Anywhere in the grid. Again, Ryan's trying to get it. Again, it's a good example of using all different surfaces of the foot. All right? With quick change of direction. And relax. Good stuff.